All right, guys. Today we're gonna be reacting to Berlin Street Food Tour. The cover reverse. Donner Kivap. Oh man, I love these videos, man. I love these videos. Make sure you're drinking your filtered water. Very important. Even though the, the water that we drink today is sort of clean, you have to filter it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Today we're going to be reacting to this amazing video. Let me just fix the camera a little bit. More German food stuff. We're going to enjoy ourselves. To make sure you like to subscribe. Also, the majority of you guys are not subscribing to the channel. Make sure you click subscribe before you move forward and watch my video. That way you don't miss any video that I upload. And also, make sure you go to the Discord and just share and be part of the community. Let's jump in, let's see what's going on. We're gonna be taking you around all of Berlin today trying to find the best foods possible and we have an emphasis on street food. Street food is king here in Berlin because you know what else is king? Partying. The best thing to have after a night of partying is some currywurst. Currywurst is famous, it's here from Berlin and I actually have my family worst. with me today. This is my mom behind Sam <laughs> and my mom's about to try her first currywurst. One of the best parts about currywurst is the price. It's very affordable. We're gonna get two currywursts with a side of fries. That's all we're gonna need. Wow, really? Oh, that seems seems very cheap. Uh, two currywursts and then pommes frites, Fitzen. Currywurst Dang, that's a, 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 that's a smooth German right there. That was very smooth. I have to try here while in Berlin. Curry 36 Ooh. has been here for over 50 years and is a hot spot establishment all times of day. Any cake outs? Well, that's it. Zero seven. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy. Have a nice day. Thank you. He, oh, he speaks fast. I think he. I think so, right? For one thing. Let me see. Uh, two curry bread and then pommes frites. Bitter. Curry bread should be. Bitter. Yeah, he, did, he said bitter. So I'm guessing. Yeah, he's that was that was German. Please. Okay. Yeah, he said bitter. So he was speaking German. Oh man, look at that. What actually is this? <laughs> it's a sausage <laughs> with the curry ketchup on top. Alrighty, there we go. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. I like it. It's really spicy. It's got good <laughs> crunch to it. It's a really good sausage. You can find currywurst all over Germany, but it is a Berlin invention. Post-war, 1949, there was a German housewife that made one of the greatest trades of all time. She traded some British spirits for a whole lot of ketchup, and she started selling bratwurst, just doused in ketchup. She put a little curry powder on top. She That's figured it. out it's even better with fries, so you can scoop up all that ketchup. And it became so popular, especially among construction workers, because they enjoyed three things about it. They love the taste. It was something a little different, a little exotic. Cheap. They love the fact that it was high protein, so it gave them the energy for the demanding day of work and the price. It was always Cheap. very affordable to make, and so it was always very affordable to buy. And even today, we got fries and we got two different sausages, six euros, 70 cents. That's that not bad, man. Actually, amazing bro, price. that's not bad. That's just basically like an appetizer, like French fries with... It's like you, if you buy some french fries with cheese and bacon on top, it's just something like that. Very similar. Even with prices going sky high with pretty much everything today, currywurst is still pretty affordable. Because this is a street here in the Kreuzberg neighborhood of Berlin that has some of the best street food in the whole city. Mustafa's Gemüse Kebab is another example, just right down the street from Curry 36. This is Donor Kebab. It's something that became very popular when a lot of Turkish immigrants came over to Germany looking for work after the war. And it has become an absolute German staple. Many people believe right here in Berlin is the donor capital of Germany, which is saying a lot. We've had some amazing donor in Dusseldorf and Cologne, but Berlin is where it really took off and many people swear by the donor here in Berlin. Mustafa has always been rated one of the best establishments for donor kebab here in the city. We wow. actually did come to Mustafa's the first night we were here. We were out all day, we were really tired, and we were really hungry. It was right around the corner from where we were staying, 
might as well check it out. Well, the one thing we didn't account for is that a lot of people have that same thought. There's always a wow. huge line here at Mustafa's pretty much all day. We're here about like just a little bit after noon. And when we came here the first time, we were just a little bit after 9 p.m. Same thing. Same thing as far as the line. It is always really crowded. But no Berlin food tour would be complete without trying some donor. So let's get in line, see how long this takes us. Wow. Since we have a bit of a wait ahead of us, we decided to get ourselves a little refreshment. And my brother Sam actually spent a lot of time in Germany, and this is what he suggested. What do we got here? What is this? It's like a peach iced tea, and they come in these big juice boxes. This is hilarious. Look at the way it comes. <laughs> Let's try it. That looks very good. good yep. Very fruit, fruit punch. Mustafa. Cash only. Don't have cash. Oof. Oh man, that's a big. That's a that's big, man. Wow. I just love watching the process of them putting it together. Good tag. Zweimal Hanschen Donor Oh, that's crazy. You know what? People say the dual lingo doesn't work. But this does work, man. I when he said good night, uh, good dark, good dark, right? Good dark. It's like good afternoon, right? Good dark afternoon, or good uh, abend, good abend. Oh, now, now I'm confused. Good dark is good after. No, good dark is good afternoon. A good abend is good evening. That's funny, man. Uh, aber eine uh, ohne Tomaten. Uh, eine Durham. Make it easy. Und ein Iran. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice, right? Mm. Oh my goodness, look at that, bro. Wow. S sharp or the nine? S sharp or the nine? Sharp. Are you sharp? Uh, me sharp? Yeah. I'll check. Thank you. Thank you. Mmm. Yep. So final wait time at Mustafa's Gemüse Kebab ended up being one hour and 13 minutes. Is it worth the wait? We're about to find out. I do have to say it looks just as delicious as the other night. Wow. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. That is so insanely good. Yeah. It looks oh good too. So what makes Mustafa's the music about special. Carrots it's a few everything. different things, but basically it's chicken. Usually it's a kind of beef or maybe even Chef, lamb, yeah. but this Cheddar is a cheese. chicken donor. It's the only option. And the peppers are actually inside the oh. stick or whatever you want to call it, the tower yeah. of meat. So all of the flavor of the peppers, and there's also some peppers on top too that kind of drip down. All of that flavor is soaked up by the meat. There's actually potatoes and zucchini in here that are fried and then mixed in with the meat. And then there's also a mix of veggies so they just have it all ready to go, slap the veggies in there, slap the chicken and potatoes and zucchini, and then they put like some sort of spicy sauce in it. Yep. It is oh perfection. God. Now, while it is true that you can get donor kebab almost anywhere in Berlin, and you're certainly not gonna have to wait an hour at most places, but that you might one, wanna just put in that extra hour for yeah, Mustafa's. But, yeah, but it seems like Mustafa is, is the one, it's the one that a lot of people go. Saw Mustafa working away in the back there. What blows me away is that he took his time with each kebab made it as perfect yeah. as he could even with this huge line he knows how many people are waiting to eat and he still took the time to make us the perfect kebab that 
just goes to show that he really just wants you to have the best experience possible. Hundreds, if not thousands of people come here every day and Mustafa makes sure that every single customer gets the perfect kebab they can get. First donor as well as first currywurst today. This is a little bit messy, but it is delicious. Yeah, it's really but the the street food, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, the street food needs to have a little bit of that messy touch to it, right? You see what I'm saying? Like when you go to the street and you buy food, you don't want it to be too, too organized. You want it to be like a street, right? A little bit of that, like, like connection with the environment. You see what I'm saying? You don't want it in the plate, you know, with some knife. You know, you want it a little bit messy. Well, you can eat it and just get a little bit of messy. From the others, there's probably thousands of donor places here in Berlin. I don't think there's a better one. Well, that's big. That's for two people right there. Oh, eat half now, eat half later. The city of Berlin can be described in a lot of different ways, but I think one word that fits really well is quirky. There's a lot of quirks to the city, a lot of things that make it very unique. And actually, the building that we're about to go eat in and go get food from used to be an old public bathroom. Let's go have some Burgermeister. Really? Man. Wow. The menu wow. is giving me anxiety. Wow. Hamburger, cheeseburger, chili cheeseburger, Fleischermeister, Meisterburger, Meister a la Klassen. I think actually I just found the one I want. Meister a la Klassen. Double meat, double cheese, bacon, jalapenos, barbecue sauce, iceberg salad, no pickles, red onions, mayo. All right, what do you want? I'm gonna get that classic cheeseburger. In German, the word Burgermeister actually means mayor, but it's spelled a little differently, play on words. Let's mm. see how Burgermeister compares wow. to other burgers we've had. Oh my God. Mm. Whoa, that's a burger. It's really crispy, the patties. It's definitely like a smash burger style. You can tell the patties are pressed on the grill. We got barbecue mm. sauce in there. We got bacon, pickles, and jalapenos, of course. And it's so great to eat a burger just right under the, the train track. A little noisy, a lot going on. That's a 10 out of 10 burger. I would definitely come back. About a 20 to 25 minute wait, which I think probably is a little more during peak hours, but I'd say worth it. Wow, look at that. Wow. Oh God, look at that bun. <laughs> That's a real bun, huh? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> the burger is well done. It's crispy. He's on like, top. bro, I want a piece of that too, man. On the bun. Yeah. The crispy veggies. Ich liebe Burgermeister. Ich liebe. Tragic. I hate the last bite. Yeah. No, it's okay, man. It's a lot of cops, man. Hey. hey it's still cops, man. Like, dang, like oof. It's a lot of cops, man. You better just burn that stuff up by walking because mm, you might just fall asleep. It's beautiful, huh? As soon as you walk in, you're just hit with all these different sorts of smells. You can smell curry, za'atar, all these spices from all these different places. That's, man, it's hipster. Man, that's a lot of, do you know what? I, I never expected to encounter a lot of hipster culture in Berlin. A lot of hipster. What do you guys think about that? An old fashioned German bakery. You might have to take advantage of this one. Max is a sucker for old German grannies. Yes, absolutely. You can't say no to them. Oh, wow, I don't know if I want the apple cooking or this sour cherry streusel. Hello, good tag. I know. Good tag. Okay, afternoon. Uh, okay, see, I wasn't right. Good tag. Good tag. Good tag. It's good afternoon. This is a sour cherry and marzipan streusel. Hello, good tag. Mmm. Wow. 
It is so good. It's both wow. tart and sweet. Perfect combination. And it's got a really nice crunchy top to it. And the streusel. Little brother. And mom. Yeah, there's a lot of hipsters there, huh? Look at that. Berlin, you can't miss the Ritter Sports store. This is a Ritter German Sports. chocolate company that has become one of our favorites since we've Wow, that's a, that, man, that's the, tried some Swiss bro, that's the that's the fourth meal. They just put the dessert as a meal because they didn't eat it with something else. You just so they have the first one, Mufasa. Then they have the Bergemeister, right? Then they have the old pastry, right? All German pastry. Now they're gonna have another one. Golly, man. But we tried a bunch of different He's a little something. Oh, we're gonna try like uh, one eye looking here, the other one here. Like, let me just go to bed, kind of thing. It's a lot. It's heavy. All over the region. It's heavy. As well, but Ritter Sport is one of the best as far as like a mass produced something that you can find in a lot of different places. And this store is amazing. They have all of these. Oh, that's nice. Ritter Sports that are hanging up the ceiling. That's very just cool. Makes you want to tear it open and dive right into it and they even downstairs have a feature where you can make your own Ritter Sport bar. Nice. I really enjoyed it. Very nice. Very nice. It's best to do in Berlin, Germany. Come to Berlin. Very nice, man. I mean, I, I, man, I, I wish him well. I wish him well. Hopefully they can keep enjoying their, their trips. And their adventure as a couple, man. Uh, hopefully, you know they they grow up together and keep doing what they r really love. It seems like traveling. Wow, very interesting. Let me know what you guys think. Hey, I, I want I, I would like to know you guys' opinion regarding the hipster culture in Berlin. How do you guys feel about that? Hmm. I would like to know. Let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, guys, I will see you in the next one.